What is up, beautiful people? Corwin L. Gilliam's CLG Lifestyle here. Hope you guys are feeling blessed. Hope you guys are grateful to be alive. Some people did not wake up this morning. We did, and that's enough reason for us to find even the smallest opportunity to be grateful. If you've not checked out my last publications, please do so. You can go to my website at www.clglifestyle.com. You can also go to my Facebook page. Um, follow me at CLG Lifestyle. If you're watching this video on YouTube, of course, like and subscribe. Um, I'll also leave the direct uh, direct links to these uh, platforms under the description box of this video, wherever you are going to watch it, either on Facebook, um, my website, or YouTube, right? So I hope you guys, again, like I said, are feeling blessed, grateful to be alive. Today's a beautiful day. I'm currently at Santa Monica Beach, one of my favorite spots, one of my favorite places to go. Um, just to relax, unwind, and to cultivate some things that I'm doing right now um, as far as my brand. And of course, coming on here and to share the experience with you as much as possible. And so in this video, in this uh, video with this beautiful natural uh, setting, I wanted to talk about, and of course, I think you can hear the sounds of the waves breaking in the background. I might walk to the uh, waters by uh, at the end of the video so you can you know get to see exactly what it is that I enjoy watching and, and experiencing just to take my mind and just you know my thoughts you know thoughts that can be consuming you know when it comes to uh, really enjoying what God has made so re readily available to us what money can buy can't buy you know many of the things that we worry about and are concerned about revolves around you know what money can buy right and because you don't have the money or the amount of money you know what i'm saying to have what you want you know here comes the stress here comes the you know the feelings of unworthiness or you know feeling you know not valuable or, or not important because our society has casted so much relevance and importance on materialism that you know if your mindset is rooted in the cares and the things of this world and if you don't have certain things you're going to feel like you have no identity you won't have confidence you i mean if you have your two strong feet to walk and you don't have a car you know you're going to feel some type of way about it because the world says you know certain cultures right believes that you know you must or you should have a car right i was working in a situation where you know um where I'm working in the same environment as people, right? We're making the same amount of money. Um, we're clearly here in this situation here together. So, you know, um, whether, you know, me having a car or, or not, you know, it to me, you know, it doesn't make a difference. You know, you know, some people like to make you feel like you're, you're that because they have certain things, whether they have a house or a car or certain things that, you know, if you don't have it, you know, somewhere, somehow they feel better than you and that's just a mindset right most times these people they don't even know what they're doing or, or why they think the way that they think but they've been programmed to behave a certain way so that you you know so that they are the ones who are pressured and essentially enslaved into doing things that you know what i'm saying that is not even right and well for them i had to learn you know that you know even though iphone may be and this is something that the spirit of god had to teach me even though I, the iphone or whatever is popular right now in society that you know everyone is is raving after and truly maybe you know the the latest and the greatest the lord had to say to me had to teach me you know the importance of wanting or desiring what is right and well for me for where for you know for where where i am at in life as far as my mindset as far as my skills as far as my capabilities as far as what i you know what it is that i'm desiring and what i'm desiring to use it for you know all of these things come into play you know when it comes to not only intentionality but in also you receiving you know what god has prepared for you so this 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 profound teaching came as simple as a phone right so for a long time you know i've always felt like i needed to have a not i didn't feel like i needed to have an iphone i just felt like based on the phones that i've had iphone seemed or appeared to be the best so i would always you know say okay well you know if i get a new phone and i'm i'm going to get an iphone iphone now mind you i've always been someone who you know would go against the grain right if you know me you know i'm someone who you know for a long time you know i've always been someone who was unapologetic and uncompromising in my individuality and that eventually compromised you know at some point because you know sometimes you get too Sometimes, you know, you break, you crack. And I would be the first to admit, you know, I was one who cracked under the uh, the pressure of cultural expectations. And so I began, I began to conform 
so you know people's perceptions opinions and feelings about me and and things that you know not just on a personal level but just on a on a collective level you know as a whole as a community right a lot of the times we're doing things not because it represents us or who we are but because we see people doing it or we see those around us doing it and so um and so god had to teach me profoundly you know with a with, with a phone he was like you know I'm not going to go into the full details about this, this, the phone situation, but it was a lot going on. Basically, I had a phone that I had financed, right? I financed the iPhone. You know how T-Mobile do these things where, or whatever phone company where, you know, you're able to lease a phone or le well, finance a phone. You're basically paying for the phone, but um, um, you pay monthly, right? And so um, I was able to put down, you know, for the phone and, of course, get the phone. And it was, it had been like five, maybe five or more years that I had actually, no, no, no probably about three years or so that I had, since I had, excuse me, I've been feeling a little tired lately, but I'm trying to push through the tiredness and just, you know, push through, right, you know, sometimes you know when you have to push through, sometimes you know when you have to rest, and I feel like in this time I have to rest a little bit, but also, you know, get back to pushing through, all right, so, um, so basically, you know, the phone, what happened with the phone on, so, yeah, so I, I financed I financed the phone and eventually, you know, the phone I lost the phone. Oh, well, I didn't lose the phone. The phone was stolen, and you know, I had to go resort back to an old iPhone that I had that was cracked and just glitching all over the place. And then the phone became a burden. It became so much of a burden. I was unable to text the old phone that I went back to using. I wasn't able to text. I wasn't able to do a lot of things, and it just became a burden. And so. I just remember, you know, just being tired, you know, tired, and, and, and I was like, God, you know, like, just give me the phone that is right for me, right? Basically, that's what I basically asked God, and lo and behold, you know, in a couple of days or less than a week, you know, I went and I got a phone, I, I went to Boost, I got, you know, one of those, um, you know, those phones, Android phones that they give you, um, Samsung, you know, when you're signing on, I got it for free because I was able to transfer my contract with them to, um, from T-Mobile to Boost, and, you know, I been using this phone ever since and this phone has been a blessing a blessing like what i've been able to accomplish i've been able to accomplish more with this phone than my iphone and this is what i was saying about the importance of knowing who you are and really surrendering to god and about all the details of your life every little information every little thing that you may have a question about or concern about or maybe in doubt about it's important for you to just pursue the Spirit of God so that He can give you the answers to your long-standing questions. It doesn't matter how irrelevant it may be in your mind. God cares about every detail of our lives. And so, I wanted to talk about more so on, you know, the, the, the importance of, you know, getting back up, right? Getting back up, getting your feet back, uh, getting back on solid ground. You know, you may have been someone who have made you know you may have been down for a long time you know you may have experienced homelessness you may have experienced betrayal and and treachery from family members you may have you know what i'm saying you may have just gone through things for yourself you know that no one knows about right you may be dealing with sin right sin as far as like you know just sin right sin but then also the condemnation that comes with living a life of sin you see what the, you know what god you know what what God wants us to know, what I believe the Spirit of God wants us to know is that He understands our struggles or the struggles that humans have with sin, right? He, he, God knows that, right? Um, he understands our makeup. He understands our nature, right? He understands, again, we have the Lord Jesus Christ who went through the things that we, you know, the, the testings and the temptations that we went through, right? So God understands what we go through and and and, and this the, the struggle and the bondage even the word talks about reveals that you know human beings are incapable of res resisting sin right you can't you can't resist sin until according to the word of the lord until the spirit of god comes upon you until you are uh, empowered by the holy spirit until you are baptized by the holy spirit and then now because the Holy Spirit lives within you, it's a stamp of approval or seal or, or affirmation or confirmation as to what God has done for the human race, for creation as a whole, but for human beings. Before that, you know, we were, we, we were snares or we were uh, slaves, puppets to the enemy, right? The enemy had a hold 
right? A solid grip on our lives, which allowed him to do whatever he wanted to do with us as far as uh, exercising and living in sin, right? We could not resist the temptation or resist the desires to execute sin. But now that we have the Holy Spirit within us, Holy Spirit, you know, of course you have God within you now, right? You have the Holy Spirit, the, sp the promised Spirit, right? And so if the Spirit of God lives within you, whom the Spirit of God sets free is free indeed, indeed, right? And so the Spirit, Holy Spirit living, living within you, you know, is going to now empower you and lead you to, uh, to live a righteous lifestyle as opposed to what the enemy wanted you to do, which was to live an unrighteous and condemned life, right? And so what religion and you know wolves in sheep's clothing and the enemy has done is made people feel like god has no inkling about what it means or how a human lives you know and his or hers inability to resist sin the word reveals that god understands that we were incapable of resisting sin we were the, the, you know we were slaves to the enemy right and so whoever you are a slave of you're going to represent that lifestyle you know because as a slave you do what your master says so if the enemy is the adversary if the enemy is the opposer if the enemy is the the birth of sin obviously as his slave that is exactly what you're going to do right you're not going to live a righteous lifestyle and so on the opposing end you know the spirit of god brought about his son jesus christ through his mysterious uh, covenant that he revealed through the sacrifice and everything that Jesus Christ did right as the lamb and then after that now we are now been we have now been given the Holy Spirit right the Holy Spirit now empowers us and gives us everything that we need as far as truth as far as wisdom knowledge understanding direction and leadership so that we can encompass or embody glory to God the the, the characteristics or the nature of of one who is made an image who of one who was or, or is made in the image and likeness of God this was the case with Adam before the fall Adam was made in the image and likeness of God and so Adam had the nature of God which he perfectly lived until he made a decision to disobey God and to um you know to follow um follow, disobey God and follow the enemy right and obey the enemy and so that transferred his nature right the the nature which he was uh which he was which he was made in the image and likeness of god was now transferred to the image and likeness of the enemy so he became like the enemy he became as the word says you know the you know the follower of the father of lies right this is how the word describes the enemy the father of lies and so that free will that adam used to you know relinquish or to despise the blessing right which god had bestowed upon him right um was now given to the enemy to do whatever he wanted to do and so now the any so now human beings no longer had you know the power and the authority that god had given them because they transferred it over to the enemy who now used and abused it for his own gain but now in christ we have been restored to life we have been restored to that relationship that adam once had in, in the garden before the fall and in christ we're able to, you know, not only be free from the snares and the wiles of the enemy and everything that the enemy and the world of the enemy facilitates and sustains, but we're also able to come into fully the life and the identity, right? This is what I talk about a lot on my profile, on my uh, as far as my brand, CLG Lifestyle, influencing you to love self, because your identity has everything to do with who you become and who you show up as in this world, right? Your image, how you see yourself is what's going to reflect how you do things, how you live, the things you tolerate, environments that you you, you, you put yourself in and, and relationships that you maintain, all these different things, you know, is connected to your identity, right? Now, also, we understand that Jesus, even though Jesus was king, is the king of kings and a lot of lords and a son of, of God, you know, that made him an heir, that made him royalty, right? But even in his royal nature, you know, according to the will of the Father, he had to come down to the low levels of human beings to walk this low level walk um, uh, in order to, um, according to God's plans, right? In order to fulfill the will of the Father, but overall, in order to, to understand what it is that we go through, you know, why we struggle, you know, and, and to ulti ultimately, you know, according to God's design, I have to keep emphasizing God's design because, you know, a lot of the times we don't necessarily and won't understand how and why God and how God is able to do the things that he do. But, you know, 
if it's effective, if it works, a hey, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so there's a lot of people in this world, you know, science and people who love human, uh, subscribe to, you know, human logic as their God, you know, they'll have all the details about everything. But then when it comes to actual, you know, putting all the pieces together, you know, sometimes it doesn't work. Right. And in fact, a lot of the times it doesn't work. It's like you can have all this education and all this knowledge, but, you know, p people still trying to figure out how to you know what the cure is for cancer what the cure is for all these diseases and these new discovered diseases that you know they will be newly discovered diseases period because you know as human beings if human beings continue to want to do things without god and feel like they can be god themselves without god then you're gonna have to as i say figure it out right and so um and so with god however you know it, just our nature and how he created us to be there is an expectation for us to trust in him Okay, there's an expectation for us to, you know what I'm saying, to rely on him, to believe that he's our Heavenly Father and that even though he, we have certain abilities and characteristics that, that makes us God in the earth, we still need to trust in, rely on, and cling to him as our maker, right? So, um, and so your identity, your image has everything to do um, with how and who you are in this world. And this is why the enemy tries so hard to destroy your image and to destroy your enemy and uh, your identity. And if he can't destroy your image and can't destroy your identity, he'll try to infiltrate it or corrupt it and pervert it in more ways than one. And this is how, you know, people, as they say, you know, get, get lost. You know, you, 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 you realize one day you wake up and your life, you wasted your life. You know, you've, you've not accomplished anything. You've not accomplished nothing. You've been in the same living situation for 10, 15, 20 years. Um, by the time you know it, the year is done. Nothing has changed. Nothing is accomplished. Um, you, have, you, you didn't finish anything as far as school, as far as business, as far as job. I mean, you're just smoking your life away, drinking your life away, sexing your life away, shopping your life away, um, you know, prostituting your time and resources with people who don't care nothing about you trying to please mommy and daddy who you know have their own issues and can care less about your happiness and your mental health that you know they i mean even if you were to die because of stress and and mental exhaustion you know pursuing their personal dreams dreams that they should have did for themselves that god was leading them to do for themselves but they didn't want to do it for themselves because they wanted to play the blame game and exercise the victim mentality but here it is you in this generation you have more confidence you have more you're more self-aware you know you understand god and you are willing to please god and, and live a life that is godly but here they come in because they see your light and they see that yeah you are the chosen one that you know god has favored you more than them that you know now they want to come and encroach upon this freedom and this beauty and most times if not all the time they're be, they're being used by the enemy the enemy is using them to tr to try to stop you and to try to hurt you because the enemy knows that you know betrayal and hurt from those you love that's like the worst and it takes probably the longest for people to to recover to be healed and to overcome the hurt that comes from people whom you least expect would hurt you and this happens to be family members and people that you love and so um that's one of the strategies of the enemy but from my experience you know god you know when when god has chosen you and has you know this made a decision or or has revealed to you that you are someone special to him and that you know that that you that he has hopes plans and a future for you that he has purpose for you that he wants you to win um you got you know he'll also give you the tools and and the things that you need so that you overcome just these these distractions and these things and, and, and cultural and societal norms that try to make you feel like, you know, by listening to them and doing it, that you're actually being free and that you're confident and that you're strong. But in actually, but in actuality, when truth and the light is shed upon the norms and the expectations of culture and society, you will realize that it's all intertwined with bondage and slavery and captivity. And there is no, truly no love in these, in these ways and these expectations. Can, how can a culture that, you know, that can perpetrate or or, or, or enforce a cancel right to cancel people out when they make mistakes or do certain things wrong you know be the same culture that wants to tell you you know who you are and how to live and, and what confidence is and what love is and yada 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 but the minute you don't do it is you know they want to cancel you out they want to do all these different things and this is an example of again the, the controlling um puppeting and and lies and deception that the enemy uses to control people and to control God's creation, even though they don't know it, right?
And so for people like me who has been given, you know, the freedom, glory to God and, and insight and wisdom and knowledge who come on here and share the wisdom and knowledge that God has given us, share the light that God has given us, share the environment as I'm about to walk to the waters to show you the waters, you know, to show you these different things. Um, you know, the enemy does not like that. Right. And so, you know, he tries again, right, incessantly to come and encroach upon our freedom, the freedom that God has given us and wants us to show you, you know, how you can be freed, you know, how you can be freed from people who, you know, truly is your family, people who truly you, you love and may truly love you, but because they're so broken and so hurt, they don't really understand, you know, what true love is, you know, they don't really understand, you know what I'm saying, um, how to love. And so you don't have to be caught up in that situation. You don't have to be caught in a situation where, um, you know, where, where, it's like you're drowning, right? We all can't drown, right? One of us have to survive and, and not only survive, but get to that place, get to that promised place, okay? Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave this under 22 minutes. Um, I'm just going to give you a real quick tour of um, a panoramic tour of where I'm at. Just to remind you, you know that God is love. God is beautiful. God is amazing. He wants the best for us. And... Um, and you know but you have to want it yourself you know you have to want the best for yourself as well you know what i'm saying god can hand you a buffet you know on a golden platter on a golden table but it is up to you it is up to us for us to pull up our chair and eat and it's not going to be easy right you're going to have all these things in the form of dark entities however they manifest in your life trying to make you feel that oh what you're doing is wrong or you're being disloyal or that you're crazy but just follow the spirit, follow, follow the spirit, follow the spirit of truth that is telling you you are better, you're worth more than this, you know, love this, this is not love, love is over here, keep finding, keep digging, keep searching, keep seeking, and you will discover truth as truth was originally established, right, so I pray that over you in the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, receive it, and have a beautiful day, a beautiful night, evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll talk to you guys soon, God bless.